right? I'm going to talk to you today about information overload, which is what happens when you are trying to do a couple things and there are way too many things happening at once, so you don't really get the message because you're trying to do too many things at once. That includes multitasking and overloading yourself and just generally being doing way too much. It, it gives you stress and it also gives you brain fatigue, which is really bad. And today that's a big problem because we have way more to learn every single day than somebody in the Middle Ages had in their entire life. They had to learn that you need to kill a pig and have it for dinner. We need to learn 20 things like that by the end of the speech. So a big problem with that is that you end up with desktops like this being the smallest amount of windows you ever have open. The other day I expose and the windows were so tiny that I couldn't even read them. That is a problem because you're not, if you have that much going on, your computer starts to run out of memory and if it starts to run out of memory, you definitely are remembering it. So, as you can see, multitasking has been proven to reduce how much you actually learn. If you go on Facebook when you are studying, you are going to make fewer friends and fail out of college. So don't do that. And the worst part is the strong, the more complex the tasks, the worse you do. So your brain is divided into two halves, right? The left half controls basic logic things. That's what you're going to be using your, for a lot of your homework. The other half controls language intonations, facial expressions. You're probably not going to be analyzing the facial expressions of your program. That won't help. The left brain is what you're going to be using most of the time here in your major classes. It's a serial processor. That means it does things one at a time. Just step one, then two, then three. It does not do things left and right and left and right and doing two things at once. That is not a good way to do your homework. If you try to do two homeworks at once, like I'm just going to knock out five birds with one stone, that will not work because you have to do context switches. And the amount of times that you spend context switching adds up. Look at how tiny fun it is. That doesn't sound great. But if you do it in serial form, you do homework A, B, and then even C, and then you're way further ahead, and you're out having fun with your friends, which is what you want to be doing, and not stuck inside trying to figure out why your program sick faults. Of course, serial processing is not the quick and easy solution. You still could be doing it wrong. You might be doing problem one and then playing a game of StarCraft, which quickly turns into three because you started losing and you have to win before you do problem two. That just leads to sadness. That doesn't kind of get you where you want to go very quickly. What you need to do, this is your brain. This is your brain on wow. <laughs> so what happens when you try to do homework when you're playing wow? Your brain is not really interested because WoW gives you quick ephemeral pleasure. <laughs> so you spend that up and keep playing WoW. You might say, oh, it's fine. High school was really easy. Yes, high school was easy for a lot of people. You were level a million in Halo, you had 500 friends, you went to parties every night, but there's a reason that high schoolers are going to beat you in every video game you ever love for the next four years. They have so much freaking time. You have way more going on. This is what you had to do in homework in, in high school. You had to do some homework. Your parents probably made you dinner. You just got your car and you were learning to drive it. Stuff like that. It's not that bad compared to what you have to do in the rest of your life. Stuff like this every single day. So what are you going to do when you come home and you have a midterm later that day and you find the chicken just leaked all over the fridge? You have to clean that up. But wait, somebody just spilled milk, but your friend's calling you because she's freaking out and you don't know what to do. And you just need to stop and pause. It's going to be okay. You are not going to explode. <laughs> We're not all going to pass out because too much is happening, I hope. <laughs> you just need to calm down and try a few of these things to make your life a little bit simpler. Simplify what you're doing. Instead of having five monitors, even though that looks really cool, have one, have one tab open that you're reading. You will get the article done today instead of in three days. Get organized. Make a to-do list. Okay, I know most of you won't actually do that. I didn't either. Writing down things on paper is too hard for us. There are apps now for your phone that you can yell at and it will make to do <laughs> Use those. Use stuff that synchronizes everywhere. Focus. Listen to instrumental music instead of music with vocals. It distracts your brain less. Remove distractions from your desk. Don't have slinkies. Don't look at little cats while you're <laughs>
Pace yourself, and you'll have tons more time.